Hej och välkomna till ett nytt avsnitt av Västra hamnen möter. Idag har vi Jing Liu från BPC Instruments här. BPC Instruments är ett superspännande bolag från Lund som har vuxit både topline-mässigt och resultatmässigt. Och aktiekursen har ju verkligen följt med de senaste åren. Vi kommer föra, även om Jing förstår svenska så tycker vi det är bättre att vi tar diskussionen i engelska så du kan förklara mer ingående på de olika delarna. But please, Jing, nice to have you here and tell us a little bit about the story of BPC Instruments. Oh, thank you. Very nice to be here. Uh, well, actually, our journey for BPC Instruments starting from the very beginning of 2006. And so uh, the company originally is a spin-off from Lund University. Mm. We are focused on the biogas or biomethane business. And uh, so um, um, in the first, of course, in the beginning of the year, we are looking at, uh, okay, where our technology can fit in the market and where is the business could be. And uh, in, back in 2009, 2010, we uh, launched our first instrument product that's uh, helping both research and the industry to solve the feedstock issue. And that's actually the starting point, you can say. And until now, we have actually a portfolio of the instrument, instrument uh, product that we sold over eight, uh, 70 countries and the regions. And um, we continue profitable over more than 12 years, I would say. Yeah. And also back in 2000, end of 2021, we are in stock market spotlight in Sweden. Yeah. So a uh, very interesting journey. We focus on biogas. Initially, we're still biogas business is still our major revenue source. But in the uh, most recent years, we actually also expand to other uh, business sector like about degradability, plastic, animal nutrition, waste water, and we are looking at more, uh, more exciting uh, business sector that would potentially we can penetrate to. Yeah. We will probably touch upon those yes. subjects as well, but for the viewer, tell us a little bit more about the, the biogas uh, process. How does that work and how does your company fit into that process and what okay. do your instruments, what do they do? Yeah, I don't know if everyone knows, actually Sweden in the, for many years has been in leading position to industrialize the biogas process, especially convert biogas into a vehicle fuel mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, the foam gas this way. But biogas itself is a very natural process. It's nothing we are not inventing anything. It's a, it's a biological naturally happened process. The, the challenge is we have to make it very efficient in industry devices. So see, we have a lot, a lot of biomass. Biomass never constant in quantity and quality. We have to manage, collect, select, right feedstock and do it through the bacterial fermentation process, microbial fermentation process, those biomass can be converted to the so-called biogas, which consists of a methane and a carbon dioxide. Yeah. To utilize them, of course, you, we need to go through an upgrading process. So if we remove the carbon dioxide, then it becomes which is remaining only missing, yeah. then it's more or less the same quality, or you can see the equal quality of natural gas. Then you, the application is very, you know, looks very nice that you can inject to the natural gas grade, you can use as a vehicle fuel. Like in Sweden, back in the early 90s, that's uh, starting in Ling Shopping, using the upgrade of gas as a vehicle fuel. So uh, we, and, uh, of course, and then, there's a process um, um, uh, during the after the degradation. There's uh, also fertilizer, so-called digestive, can be used as a fertilizer. The biogas looks natural process, but it's also a very challenge process if you want to turn that even very efficient. The big challenge is actually the big variation of feedstock. If you are not able to control the feedstock very well. You have a lot of headache, you have a lot of problem you are not able to overcome, and certainly it will impact the economic uh, of the plant, and uh, the plant may not be profitable at the end. Yeah. So um, we, uh, BPC, what we are offering is actually we are offering instrument that from actually selection, the uh, selecting and evaluating and control the feedstock quality, that's actually our role. And uh, like our uh, flagship product, like control the feedstock quality, uh, set the price, and also evaluating, make sure that uh, the, 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 the right feedstock feed into the digester and so on. And you do that automatically during yeah. the process? Yeah. It's, um, if it's an analysis, and once again, we're not inventing this analysis. This in analysis has been there for decades, but it's done manually. 
yeah, which is very labor intensive and time consuming, skill demanding. So at the end, the industry will never perform that. And then you can imagine that to create a big problem for people yeah. if you don't know what you are coming, receiving, and full feed to the digester of the biogas plant, how you can ensure there is a stable and high efficient process. Our, problem, our, our instruments solve that issue. And we see that in the, back in the, you can say, 2008 or 2007, we see the, the need for the market. So we invent the instrument and the, actually start to create a project, uh, create yeah. a market. And this is a lot of people don't believe a small company can create a market. But we did. We managed. And you have just scratched the surface and you, you oh, are yeah. a, you're a full, full global company, South yeah. India, China, yeah. wherever. And, and uh, uh, the, the, um, the, the latest product, the blue, mm -hmm. uh, is making worldwide now real yeah. progress. Yeah, it's a, certainly. It's based on our success in the past as well. Of course, the blue is not in the biogas, it's for biodegradability. But uh, as I mentioned, we export to more than uh, 70 countries. And uh, still, European, European in general is our home market. And yeah. we are really have a good progress in both Asia uh, and also America regions. And um, yes. And, and, you, and you touched upon that. By the, the biogas business is around 65-70% of your business mm -hmm. the, uh, right now, and biodegradables are really picking up 25-30% of your business. Yeah. Please tell us about what can you do in the biodegradable uh, process, for instance, with plastics. Yes. Um, actually, uh, if, you, if you can excuse me, I, can, of I course. Want, uh, you, 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 you just mentioned that we're only on the, in the beginning, only on the scratch surface. Yeah. That's truly we believe. Because we're actually working on the emerging business. That's including the bioenergy, biogas, bio biohydrogen as well. To move forward, to let the biogas or biomethane, biohydrogen become a, play a very important role in our society. In the future energy mix, we will develop, we need to develop much more. And this is actually the common understanding from European Union and also many countries, including even India. Mm. So actually still a huge amount, huge potential people, have, the plant has not actually utilized those tools. So even though we are dominant in this sector, this sector, mm. but we're only still in the beginning. So the growth is not only so existing saturated market, it is actually in the beginning of, a, uh, I would say, a very fast, a quick growing business. Back to the point uh, about degradability. Yes, uh, actually, um, uh, um, because nowadays also uh, plastic pollution has a really lot of drive a lot of tension. So there's also common trend, not only in European Union, but also in many other countries, in Asia, China, and uh, also United States. People start looking, apart from recycling the plastic, they are looking at, okay, what kind of material? It can be natural fiber. It could be, okay, synthetic, so-called plastic, but that which can be degraded in the environment. And the environment can be a very environment. It can be a sea, it can be the sea sediment, or, or it can be in the wastewater treatment plant, it can be in the soil, it can be in the anaerobic digester, in various different uh, composting. And we actually develop the instrument that can match all these different environment. And once again, share very similar the idea which we're offering in the biogas industry, that we want to free people's hand. We want a high precision and high accuracy. So the test can be carried out much more often because for a right decision or right material development, you need a um, decision based on the solid evidence. Yeah. Of course. You need to analyze more, and that's yeah. a future trend. You, we need more analyze, and to make that happen, the old traditional uh, uh, manually time-consuming uh, analysis is not a solution. Have you made any uh, calculations how long time, if I am a, a, a manufacturer, a processing plant owner, mm -hmm. how long does it take to, to recoup my cost of your instruments? Because they are really accurate, but they are expensive. How long does it take for me to uh, recoup my investment? I think, you know, one, as long as we're talking about the industry production, yeah. any, any effort to increase the few percentage or even more has a huge impact. Yeah. Even though our instrument, of course, is an advanced instrument, it's, it's um, I won't call it cheap. No, no, no we shouldn't. Because it's with, with our IT, with innovation, but to recover from those investments, yeah. It's very quick. 
if cool. people utilize. Yeah. Give you an example. If the operator of our gas plant are not able to feed about, about their plant properly, the consequence is very serious. Yeah. It's very serious. I mean, if they are using our, our instrument for properly select the price and the pricing the feedstock and know what they are feed to the digester, mm. the outcome can be easily recovered without any doubt. We have a lot of small player, uh, the customer, I mean, the individual plant, but we also have a big plant that owned uh, using our instrument to secure their feedstock. Yeah. yeah. Very good, very good. I, I, I would say, if you ask time, and uh, I would say, Couple of months, one or two months that you can recover it. Well, I mean, it depends on the situation. Yeah, you're selling it too cheap, Ying. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I see the potential, <laughs> but uh, you know, we we we're not taking out the whole process because you're talking about the industry is huge. Yeah. Uh, even though they're, I mean, it's a growing and merging industry. But we, our our business model is we are play, we are working on, we are being niche player. Yes. Offer a key technology. And uh, which actually, even though they might be a small portion in terms of uh, the whole construction cost, but they can play a very central role. Yeah. And uh, we control everything from our end. We're not depending on anything, anyone else. And we can work internationally. We're not a regional company. We're really international company. In this way, I think I feel like this is the right business model for innovative company like us. Yes, I, I certainly agree. And if you haven't looked into BPC Instruments before, look that chair up and uh, follow Ying and his, uh, his um, um, employees uh, on his quest globally. And remember, in a gold rush, the one who gets rich, they are the ones that sells the picks and shovels. I think that analogy really fits into your company. That's right. Thank you very much for coming, Ying. Thank you to be here.